Today, I'm going to show you the new AI that everyone's talking about. Grok 4 just dropped, and people are calling it the smartest AI on Earth. I put it through crazy hard tests that break most AIs. Some of the results will shock you, and I found one huge problem that could cost you money. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. So Grok4 just came out and everyone's going nuts about it. X is saying it's the best AI ever made, tech people are losing their minds, and companies are already trying to use it. But here's the thing, no one actually tested it properly yet. Everyone just talks about it. No one shows you real tests with real results. So I did something different. I put Grok4 through some brutal tests. Tests that break most AIs, they're designed to find the weak spots. And what I found will surprise you. But first, let me tell you why this matters to you. If you run a business, you need to know which AI to use. The wrong AI can waste your time. It can give you bad answers. It can even hurt your business. The right AI can save you hours every day. It can help you make more money. It can automate tasks that used to take forever. But only if you pick the right one. That's why I spent weeks testing Grok4. I wanted to see if it lives up to the hype. And I'm going to show you the real results I got. So let me show you the real tests I ran. The first big test I want to talk about is what I call the document analysis test. I call this the document analysis test. Here's what I did. I gave Grok4 a massive PDF file. It was Tesla's earnings report from quarter three, 2024. This thing was huge, full of charts and graphs and data. Then I asked it to find the three most important graphs, but that's not all. I asked it to explain what each graph meant, how it connected to Tesla's bigger story and what problems there might be with the data. This is the kind of work that takes humans hours to do. Financial analysts get paid big money for this stuff. So could Grok4 handle it? The answer surprised me. Grok4 crushed this test. It found the right graphs. It explained them perfectly. It even pointed out problems with the data that I missed. It talked about Tesla's 2 billion miles of driving data. It mentioned their 9.4 gigawatt hours of energy storage. It showed how their growth was 75% year over year in some areas. Here's what really impressed me. Grok4 didn't just tell me what the graphs showed. It explained why they mattered for Tesla's business. It connected each graph to Tesla's bigger strategy. It understood the context. Most AIs just describe what they see, but Grok4 actually analyzed the business meaning. That's huge for anyone who needs to understand financial reports or business documents. When I tested Claude on the same thing, it took 30 seconds. GPT-40 took 45 seconds. So Grok4 might be smart, but it's not fast. And speed matters in business. You don't want to wait two minutes every time you ask a question. That adds up fast. If you're analyzing documents all day, those two minute waits become hours of lost time. But wait, it gets worse. The third test almost broke Grok4 completely. This test was called multi-source research. I asked Grok4 to research renewable energy in Southeast Asia. I gave it five different sources to look at. Government reports, energy databases, financial data, news articles, I wanted it to read everything, find patterns, compare the sources, tell me which ones were reliable and give me actionable advice. This is the kind of research that consultants charge thousands for. If Grok4 could do this, it would be a game changer. But here's what happened. Grok4 tried to do the work. It started processing the data, but then something went wrong. It kept working and working and working. After 23 minutes, it still wasn't done. That's 1400 seconds. Eventually, it just gave up and failed. This tells me something important about Grok4's limits. It seems like it has trouble with its context window. That's how much information an AI can handle at once. When you give it too much data, it breaks down. This is a huge problem for business use. Think about it. If you're a consultant who needs to analyze industry reports, competitor data, and market research all at once, Grok4 can't handle it. You'd have to break everything into tiny pieces. That defeats the whole purpose of using AI to save time. What this means for you, is simple. If you need to process lots of documents at once, Grok4 might not work. You'd need to break your work into smaller pieces. That takes more time and effort. And honestly, that's not what you want from an AI tool in 2025. So if you need to do big research projects, Grok4 might not be your best choice, at least not yet. The next test I want to talk about was about real-time information. I asked Grok4 to find OpenAI's latest post on X, then find their latest blog post and summarize both in five lines each. This test checks if an AI can find current information, not just old data from its training, but stuff that's happening right now. Grok4 passed this test too. It found posts from July 16th, 2025. That's yesterday as I'm recording this. It got details about ChatGPT's new record mode and workspace features. 
The good news is Grok 4 can find current information. It's not stuck with old data like some A is. It can search the web and get fresh content. But there were some issues too. The summaries could have been better. There was some repeated information between the X post and the blog post. And it didn't always pick out the most important parts. Still, getting a 7 out of 10 on this test is pretty good. Most AIs can't even access current information, so this is a big advantage for Grok4. This is important because a lot of AIs can't do this. They only know old information. But if you're running a business, you need current data. You need to know what's happening now. So where does this leave us? Let me break down what I learned about Grok4 from the tests that actually worked. First, the good stuff. For document analysis, Grok4 really impressed me. It can understand complex business documents. It found the right information in Tesla's earnings report. It explained things clearly and it even spotted data problems I missed. What really stood out was how it connected different pieces of information. It didn't just read the graphs, it understood what they meant for Tesla's business strategy. That level of analysis is usually what you pay consultants big money for. The quality of its business analysis tells me Grok4 was trained well on financial and technical documents. It knows how to read earnings reports, understand metrics, and spot important trends. For real-time information, Grok4 works well too. It can search the web, and find current data. That's something a lot of AIs can't do. You're not stuck with old information from months ago. For document analysis, it rivals Claude and GPT-4.0. The quality is there, it understands context. It can connect ideas across different parts of a document. But here are the problems. Speed is a big issue. Grok4 is much slower than I expected. The 142 seconds for document analysis is concerning for business use. Think about your daily workflow. If you're analyzing customer data, financial reports, or market research, you don't want to wait over two minutes for each task. That time adds up fast when you're trying to get work done, and it struggles with really big tasks. The multi-source research test completely broke it. After 23 minutes, it just gave up. That's not acceptable for professional use. The context window seems limited too. This means you can't feed it as much information at once as you might expect from a cutting edge AI. For interactive use, that wait time becomes a real productivity killer. In business, you want AI to speed things up, not slow them down. So should you use Grok4? It depends on what you need. Let me give you the real scores from a test. For document analysis, Grok4 got 8.5 out of 10. That's really good quality, but the speed is the killer. For multi-source research, it got two out of 10. It basically failed. You can't rely on it for big research projects right now. For real-time information, it got seven out of 10. Pretty good, but not perfect. Now let me tell you exactly what these test results mean for different types of businesses. If you need deep analysis of single documents, Grok4 can deliver quality results. Just be prepared to wait. If you need current information from the web, it works pretty well. But if you need speed for daily business tasks, you might get frustrated. And if you need to process multiple large documents at once, look elsewhere for now. Now let me tell you exactly what these test results mean for different types of businesses. And here's something else to think about. Grok4 just launched. These problems might get fixed soon. Speed can be improved, context windows can be expanded, X has huge resources, they can make this AI better fast. So keep watching this space, but right now today, Grok4 is good, but not perfect. It's smart, but slow. It's capable, but limited. For most businesses, I'd still recommend starting with Claude or GPT-4.0. They're faster and more reliable. Once you get comfortable with AI, then try Grok4 for specific tasks. Now, let me tell you about something that can help you, no matter which AI you choose. I've been using AI to grow my agency for years. We've saved hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars. And I wanna share those strategies with you. That's why I created the AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. We currently have 1000 members who are crushing it with AI. Inside, you'll learn exactly how to use AI tools like Grok4, Claude and others to grow your business. You'll get step-by-step -step processes, real examples, and direct access to me and other successful entrepreneurs. If you want to book a free SEO strategy session with me, the link is in the comments and description below. We'll look at your business and show you exactly how to get more leads and customers using AI and SEO. And speaking of processes, we have an SOP and complete system inside the AI Success Lab. You can find the link in the comments and description. Inside, you get access to over 100 use cases I show you a checklist of 100 different tutorials that we give away as freebies every day inside the school feed. You'll get all the video notes from today's video, plus all the other training materials in the AI Success Lab. We now have 14,000 members, so you'll be joining something much bigger than yourself, a community of people who are serious about using AI to grow their businesses. The bottom line is this, AI is changing everything. Grok4 is another step forward, but it's not perfect. 
you need to know how to use these tools properly. You need to know which one to pick for each task. That's what I teach. That's what my community is about. Getting real results with AI, not just playing around with it. So test Grok for yourself. See if it works for your business. But don't put all your eggs in one basket. Learn multiple AI tools, build systems that work, and always focus on results, not just the latest shiny object. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so drop your thoughts below. Tell me what you think about Grok 4. Have you tested it yourself? What results did you get? And if this video helped you understand AI better, hit that like button, subscribe for more AI updates, and I'll see you in the next one.